another question we have obtain the Fourier series representation in 0 comma 2 pi of the function f of x is equal to pi minus x divided by 2 so in the previous problem we were having the interval minus pi to pi so in the minus pi to pi we were checking uh, even odd how to check the even odd in minus pi to pi simply we were uh, just putting x value as minus x if we were getting uh, f of x as positive then the function will be even and if we were getting f of minus x as negative f of x then the function is odd but in the 0 comma 2 pi interval you have to remember one thing once there is the interval 0 comma 2 pi you have to put x value as 2 pi minus x this is the standard condition means once there is the interval 0 comma 2 pi you have to put x value as 2 pi minus x so for that value we have to check the given function is it coming positive or negative f of x accordingly we can uh, tell that this function is even or odd okay so let me check it so first of all put the value of x as 2 pi minus x 2 pi minus x is equal to pi minus instead of x what we have to put 2 pi minus x so 2 pi minus x divided by 2 now this is your pi minus into 2 pi that is minus 2 pi minus into minus is plus x divided by 2 now pi minus 2 pi is nothing but minus pi this is 2 pi actually and this is 1 pi so once you are subtracting 2 pi minus pi you are getting pi but negative value so plus x divided by 2 now observe the given function here we have positive pi here we have negative pi here we have negative x here we have positive x okay so it is totally opposite of this function i can write down this f of 2 pi minus x is equal to this negative times f of x hope you are getting is it right so f of 2 pi minus x we are getting negative of this see here here we have negative pi here we have positive pi here we have negative x here we have positive x so this is opposite of the given function that is why i have written here f of 2 pi minus x is equal to minus times f of x so what we can conclude the given function the given function is odd okay once we are getting negative value so the given function will be odd and in the previous problem we are getting a function as even so in even functions bn is equal to sorry this Fourier coefficient bn is equal to 0 and once we are getting function as odd so Fourier coefficient a naught is equal to 0 a n is equal to 0 in this odd function we have to calculate bn only okay so this will be easy easy for us now the required Fourier series is the Fourier series is in this case f of x is equal to we have to only calculate bn so we can write down summation of n running from uh, 1 to infinity bn sine of nx okay this is the required Fourier series now we have to calculate this bn value so we have bn is equal to 2 by pi integration of 0 to pi f of x sine of nx dx now put down the values so bn is equal to 2 by pi what is the function f of x it is given in the question that is pi minus x by 2 pi minus x by 2 sine of n x dx now i will take this 2 out bn is equal to 2 divided by pi into 1 by 2 this 2 i am taking out integration of 0 to pi pi minus x sine of n x dx now it is the time to apply bernoulli's rule of integration so 2 and 2 will get cancelled out apply Bernoulli's rule Bernoulli's rule of integration so bn is equal to this is here 1 by pi so pi minus x as it is pi minus x as it is integration of sine of nx what is the integration minus cos of nx by n okay then minus differentiation of this term so what is the differentiation of pi with respect to x so it is constant so its differentiation will be 0 and differentiation of x is 1 so we have here minus so i can write down minus 1 is the differentiation of x over here then integration of this term so what is the integration of cos of nx this is sine of nx divided by n square okay now can we differentiate this one further no differentiation of one is obviously zero we can conclude after this much zero to pi will be the interval now let me proceed it over here so now we can apply upper limit right so bn is equal to 1 by pi in the uh, previous video also i have told you once we are getting sine of n pi so sine of n pi is always equal to zero you have to mark this term as zero simply 
so this is pi minus x into this is minus cos of nx by n minus i will take out and this n i will take out so now we are left with pi minus x into cos of nx 0 to pi will be the limits so bn is equal to minus 1 by pi n now apply upper limit that is pi minus instead of x you have to take upper limit that is pi minus pi cos of n pi this is upper limit minus lower limit so pi minus 0 pi minus 0 cos of n into 0 this will be the final equation so bn is equal to minus y 1 by pi n pi minus pi is 0 so 0 multiplied by this term it will get 0 over here okay minus minus into pi is minus pi and into this cos of 0 so cos of 0 is nothing but 1 right so bn is equal to minus 1 and this minus minus and minus will get plus 1 divided by n pi and here we have 1 pi left so pi and pi will get cancelled bn is equal to 1 by n this is your answer for bn now you have to put this bn value in the given series so what is the series over here f of x is equal to summation of n running from 1 to infinity bn sin of nx so i can write down f of x is equal to summation of n running from 1 to infinity bn value is 1 by n so bn value is 1 by n i can write down 1 by n and here we have sine of nx so sine of nx this is the required fourier series for this particular question hope you have understood this question very well